All right, so here we're going to do a, another related rate problem. This will be my, my fourth example. Uh, you can check out the other three. Uh, this time we're going to look at uh, finding the how the angle's changing, okay, the rate at which the angle's changing. So here an observer stands 200 meters from the launch site of a hot air balloon. The balloon rises vertically at a constant rate of 4 meters per second. How fast is the angle of elevation of the balloon increasing 30 seconds after the launch? All right, so let's let's draw us a little picture. So here we have an observer, and he's standing 200 meters away from where the balloon takes off, and the balloon here is rising. Okay, the balloon's rising. Okay, and then that's the distance between them. And here's the uh, the angle of elevation, theta. And we'll call this h, the height of the balloon. And then we can just call this z. All right. So if you noticed. Uh, if you watched my other examples, my first three examples, or I think it was uh, example two where we had a we had a right triangle. Uh, if you noticed in that, all the sides of the triangle I had labeled like X, Y, Z. I, I never labeled a side with a number, but in this problem, notice I labeled this side a number. I didn't label it like X or anything. That's because this length here is never changing. Okay, it's constant. It says an observer stands 200 meters from the launch site. So the distance from here to here, this isn't changing. This will change. The height that the balloon is will change. And then this distance here between them will change also. But this distance from the observer to the launch site will never ch won't change it's always 200 so I can go ahead and label that 200 all right so we need to we need to come up with an equation so <clears throat> uh, I want to know how fast the angle of elevation is increasing okay all right but before I come up with my equation let's see what all they give me well, they tell me the balloon rises vertically at a constant rate of 4 meters per second. So that's the change in the height. So the change in the height is 4 meters per second. And then what else do they give me? Well, really they're, they're telling me what this height is 30 seconds after the launch so we could say that h is equal to okay remember the distance this distance here is what well we know that distance is equal to rate times time okay well the rate that it's rising is four meters per second and the time is 30 seconds and so that would be 4 times 30 which would be 120 meters okay so we know what H is alright so now we we've, we've got everything you know that they've given us so let's go ahead and set up our equation well we have theta Let's see, we've got h, and we know what the h value is, but we don't plug that in yet because the height's changing. And we have this side adjacent. So we know that tangent theta is equal to h over 200. And then if I differentiate this, with respect to t, so the derivative of tangent is secant squared theta times d theta dt is equal to, now the derivative of this, 
this is just taking the derivative of h okay just remember this this h over 200 that's the same thing as 1 over 200 times h so that's like taking the derivative of 2h or 3h okay so the derivative of this would be 1 over 200 okay that's the derivative of this times dh dt okay all right so let me let me erase this all right so now I'm looking for the change in the angle so I'm looking for d theta dt so if I solve this for d theta dt I get d theta dt is equal to 1 over 200 times 1 over secant squared theta times dh dt and so this is d theta dt is equal to 1 over 200 and then 1 over secant squared is what? cosine squared dh dt okay alright so now I've solved for d theta dt so what do I need? well I need to know what cosine theta is so I can plug a value into here and I need dh dt well I have dh dt that's 4 okay but I don't know what cosine theta is well let's come up here and look well I'm looking for cosine theta and I know cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse alright but notice I don't have a value for z I need to know what z is after 30 seconds because see that that's what we're looking for how fast is the angle of elevation of the balloon increasing 30 seconds after the launch so I need to know what z is at 30 seconds okay well I know what h is 30 seconds after the launch it's 120 so I can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what z is so z is just equal to the square root of 120 squared plus 200 squared and so z is equal to 233.24 so this is 2 oh, no, 2 not a 3 is 233.24 all right so let's see what we've got we've got so that means I can I can put cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse which is 233.24 and so and so cosine theta and if I plug that into my calculator that comes out to about 0.86 okay and go ahead and round it all right so now if you look at this I can plug everything in I have dh dt which is 4 and I have cosine theta which is 0.86 so this is equal to 1 over 200 times cosine squared theta. Well, cosine theta is 0.86 squared because cosine theta is 0.86 and I have to square it because I have cosine squared times dh dt, which is 4. And so that gives me d theta dt is equal to and when I punch that in I get 0 0.015 and 
it's in seconds so that's going to be radians per second and so that would be the how fast the angle of elevation how fast the angle of elevation of the balloon is increasing okay and if you wanted to you could convert that to degrees and get it in degrees per second but I don't think it I don't think it really matters you can leave it in radians per second all right so that's that's this problem so uh, and like I said I've got uh, three more three other examples of related rates I uh, hope you'll check those out uh, and if you like the videos you can subscribe thanks